All right, Leo, here we go. This is an energies update for the sign of Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. General reading, it may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. And this reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Leo, this is going to be a very powerful reading. Uh, the energies here were very, I didn't know what I was going to do this morning until my morning walk, and I realized I'm doing Leo. <laughs> okay. Uh, and my pre-shuffle is proof of that. I got a pre-shuffle here. What we're dealing with, and I, I'll be honest with you, I can't tell you apart from your soul connection, so I say somebody for Leo readings. I could be talking about you. I could be talking about your person. I like to say it's a 50-50 split, but as we learned one time in an extended, it's about an 80-20 split-ish, something around there. Uh, it's 80% your person and 20% of you I'm talking to. Well, either way, whoever it is, it's, it's, there's a lot of emotional immaturity here. There's somebody who shuts themselves down emotionally and gets in their head, thinks about love rather than feels it. The pre-shuffle proves it. That's my tertiary out, outer layer energy read, but somebody's doing nothing. It's a hermit. In their head, doing nothing. It is, it's not always in their head, but the hermit, but I feel that it is here. And I'm going to run through this for you here, okay? I'm not even going to tell you what the cards are. I'll go back later and tell you. I just need to run through this. Somebody's sitting here, stubborn, really stubborn, controlling. This is a very controlly person. Controlly, controlly. They like to control everything that goes on in their world, in their life. They know they need to leave. They know they need to make a change. They got something they want to say, but they're sitting there like the Burger King. This is Burger King, and this is Burger King. This is the Burger King aspect of the Out of Balance Emperor. They're both here, stubbornly sitting there, trying to control things, trying to whatever. But because of the energies right now, it's becoming a little more difficult. Uh, this is a person who's afraid to be vulnerable. They don't open up. Even though this connection, this soulmate connection, warms their soul. It's everything they want. It's actually helped them heal quite a lot. It's actually helped them get really good, better, become a better person. And they know, right here with justice, what they need to do. Okay? They know what they need to do. But we've got a hermit, the strength card, the king of wands, uh, the knight of swords, the emperor, the king of cups, the queen of pentacles, and justice. And underneath justice, I said, with justice, they know what they need to do, but they do nothing. We end with nothing. Well, we begin with nothing. We end with nothing. Sitting on the hands watching plants grow. What we're dealing with here is a person. It could be abandonment issues. It could be a lot of things. But we're dealing with a person basically who is emotionally underdeveloped. They've gone through their whole life in their head thinking about things from a cerebral point of view rather than feeling their way through life. And no matter how many times I or other people might tell them the right way to do it, they don't listen. Why? Because this person likes to control everything. And I got that message twice. I got right here, this is them leaving, running toward a new life in this soulmate connection. And it's sandwiched between two Burger Kings. It's like a double whopper. God, is there anything worse? Could there be anything worse than a double whopper? A triple, maybe, I suppose. I don't know. For most of you, the universe doesn't want to talk about a third party, but the implication here is for most of you, somebody here is, is in a relationship. Somebody here, or they, whatever it is about their life, be it their career or their family or whatever it is that they, that they love and they cling to, it's toxic for them. It, it's, it's, it's just, they're just leaning back. This is a person who's leaning back on old ways, ways that they're used to. This is how I've always been and this is how I'm going to stay. That's stubborn. That's no way to grow in life. That's no way to learn and become a better person. That's not the way you do it. That's not what life is. Life is to be felt, not to be thought. At least not completely. There needs to be a balance between the two, and there's no balance here with this person. They, they're all cerebral. The moment they start to feel, they shut it down, and they go straight into their brain. All right. It's pretty early here. It's 9.30 in the morning. Let's see what we can pull here. Let's see where we're going. Give me a reading from Leo here. 
Let's do the before the cut. The card that comes before the cut in my readings is why the fuck are we here? That pre-shuffle is just me talking to the universe. I share it with you now. I never used to. Back in the old days. Old days being like April or some shit. <laughs> I haven't been here that long. I've only been here since February. All right, here we go. Yeah. Uh, before the cut, why the fuck are we here? Because the, the dam's about to break. It's ten wands. The dam is about... That's somebody packing their bags, right? I said in the in, with, with the Knight of Swords, he was sandwiched between a double whopper. <laughs> I said they know what they need to do. They know this connection, your soul connection, nurtures them. Makes them feel good. They know what they need to do. It balances them. Balanced energy is happiness. That justice card is happiness. That's what it is. Everyone says the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Yeah, it is, I suppose. The Ten of Cups, that's happiness, right? It's beautiful. I'll take the Justice card any day of the week for happiness because I know, as an energy reader, that balanced energy equals happiness for us in the 3D. The dam's about to break here. It's ten, ten wands. What comes after that ten wands, universe? God, I love it. I love tarot, I do. Because it always backs me up. Knight of Cups. The dam's about to break. Somebody's about to move more toward love and a little less toward the brain. I think the stubborn Burger King is waking the fuck up. And probably because of all the energies in play right now. And I'm not going to run through them all. I've got all signs readings for 1111 and the new moon in Taurus that talk about all of it. Okay? So watch those readings and you'll know what's happening. That's why I'm here. I'm your energy weatherman. I'm probably one of the few people on the planet who could tell you all this shit. You get it for free. And you see it playing out in the cards. You can physically see it. Somebody's going more toward love. But they're a stubborn son of a bitch, whoever this is. And they're <clears throat> and I, I love connections. You know, I feel connections, I see connections, I taste connections. This is a beautiful soul connection. And it's, it's, it's got urine all over it from this person. Whoever the fuck this is. Both sides a little bit, but mainly the DM side of the equation. And I don't know if it's you or if it's your person. Leo, if it's you, nah, that's not cool. You gotta, you gotta start feeling things. You let yourself feel. Why, why, why you want to sit in something that's shit? Hey, it's up to you. Do what you want to do. But even the universe itself is fucking behind. The, it's, it's like, what the fuck, Steve? That's what the universe said to me. What the fuck, Steve? Okay. I don't know. I know the energies have been weird. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. There's a lot going on. Give me a reading, universe. It knows what I mean by that. Tell me what all this means. What's going on with Leo? Sun, moon, rise, and Venus here in the current soulmate cycle energies. Let's go. Let's do this. Give me a reading. Here we go. Page of Swords. It's emotionally immature. Emotionally. This person's emotionally stunted, whoever this is. They do a lot of spying. They have been doing a lot of spying. That's where that Queen of Pentacles comes in. This connection's helped them heal. It's helped them grow. It's nurtured their soul, like I always say about that card. This is emotion. What's, what's underneath this, though? What's fueling this? The whole reading's clarifying this little pipsqueak here. What's going on? Hangman. It's changing. It's everything I just told you. It's a new perspective. It's, it's changing. I already said it. It played out in our cut, right? It played out in the pre-shuffle. Here it is. What, what's fueling this is the hangman, the dark night of the soul, somebody realizing what's really important. Maybe they're watching my reading here, and I'm about to give them a hangman. Because I tell you what, I'd hang their ass if I knew them. Because this is a beautiful connection, and I've been telling you that since February, since I got here. Pleading with you. Pleading with your person energetically, if I'm reading for your person. I don't know who I'm reading for here. Somebody needs to grow some emotion. Somebody needs to let themselves feel love and stop spying on shit. You know, they were. I don't know if they are still now, but it, it is a card of that. Here's the energy around the connection. Here's how somebody feels in their emotions. Here's how someone feels about this connection. Not what they say, not what they show, because that's bullshit, right? Here's the hidden energy, a message from the universe, from me to you. Read with the energy of the connection, and right here's the potential final outcome. 
it's read with the uh, how they feel okay and again in your readings I say somebody could be you could be them roles can definitely be reversed they can be reversed in any reading but for the Leo reading no fucking way I can't tell I can't tell who's who who who's who who here you're wrapped up with your person so tight like a wet rope you know can't tell one strand from the other I'll clarify everything throw some universe cards over the top if, you, if I think we need to extend this one I will we sometimes do with your readings we'll see our reading is on top let's get it what's the energy around the connection right now first card out after this child grow the fuck up motherfucker yeah right there that's it see that he needs to grow the fuck up too this is the fuck with it parties with his weed and his trans am outside standing in front of the fan on purpose so that the glitter in his hair flows around. Those are the first two chords of Stairway to Heaven. Thinks that's enough to get him laid? It usually is for anybody who would lay this guy, male or female. Yeah. Someone that stupid. Oh, he can play Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> two fucking chords. The first two are the easy ones. <laughs> it's <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh... They're ta it's in again, Leo. I get this every time for you. You saw it in the weekly reading. You see it, and you saw it in the Friday poll I did. You see it in every reading I get. The energy around this connection right now is toxic. Somebody is sitting in a toxic situation. Somebody is around, is living all wrong. They're doing it wrong. Toxic. It's the devil. It is toxic. And in this connection, this soulmate connection has nurtured them. It's helped them. But there's still this. They refuse to open up to it. They're just going to sit in it. I hope the fuck not. I see this changing with the hangman. That's encouraging. This is the most encouraging card I've pulled, except for that ten of wands to the knight of cups from the cut. How does somebody feel in their emotions? Whoever is in the toxic here. But the connection itself is becoming toxic because of this person. Jesus, this is a fucking Leo reading, isn't it? Look at this shit. I can, you can't make this shit up, Leo. It happens every time. And somebody's still sitting in it. And it's, cause, it's bleeding over into this connection. It's tower. It, it, how does somebody feel? that they, they, they don't know whether to go left or right. They're running around like, like a jackrabbit in a brush fire. They hate what they got. They want this, but then they don't because they know they have to feel to get it, so they have to emotionally grow up. You know, it's, it's just, it's stubborn. It's someone who's just, their whole world is, it needs to be torn down and they know it. But this devil is preventing it from happening. This is the devil that makes you stick with old patterns. The, the devil doesn't want you to grow. That's why I always get mad when people write in and call me the devil. Oh, you're the devil. You're conjuring up all sorts of things. You're going against the Bible and all this. No, I'm not. If I'm going against the Bible, then every time you pray, you're going against the Bible, motherfucker. I'm just doing informed prayer here. It's all I'm doing. I'm getting information. I'm manifesting. That's it. The devil doesn't want you to grow. The devil doesn't give you... He doesn't trigger you. He doesn't make you want to be a better person. He doesn't do any of that because he wants to keep you down so that he can control you, steal your money, bang you, whatever the hell it is. It's right here. It's toxic. And they know it, but it's this is the behavior that makes them stay in it. And it's it's and these two energies are feedbacking on each other like this back and forth. It's like I know I need to tear it down, yeah, but I should just stay with what I got. I know I need to tear it down, yeah, but I should, you know, I should, this is the way I've always done things. So mother how does somebody feel about this connection in their soul? Well, maybe both of you. I don't know. Four of Swords. It's healing. This connection opens somebody's heart chakra. Both of your heart chakras, if I'm fucking honest. Both of you. But as far as if I'm reading for your person, it opens their heart chakra. It's healing. I already told you that. That energy was around the Queen of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle. This energy here is feedbacking off of this. Obviously, these are bookends. And you know from my readings, bookends mean something. Down the middle is a fucking tower. The center of my reading. This, this card is the center of my reading. It's a fucking tower. It's time for something to happen here. But what's trying to happen is healing. 
is minor arcana. It's no match for Mr. Two Chord Stairway to Heaven and fucking Trans Am weed. It's no match for it. So it's a slow process. Because somebody never grew up emotionally. Somebody's emotionally shut down. Something happened to this person. If I'm reading for your person, if I'm reading for you, Leo, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. But if I'm reading for your person, something happened in their childhood. I'm telling you, this is old fucking devil energy. Something happened in their childhood, that made them, or maybe in their young adulthood. You know? I see it all the time here in Hollywood with actresses and stuff. They've all been fucking molested and shit by some per producer who had them come over their house. They all have this kind of energy around them. It's that kind of it, kind of thing. Maybe they had a bad relationship when they were younger. Abusive. Emotionally abusive. Called them chubby or something. I don't know. You know, just to, because devil energy likes to puff itself up. It's narcissism. It likes to puff itself up and it does that by bringing down the other person. Little digs. Just little ones. You know? Little stupid shit. All right, this, this, but this connection is healing. That's why somebody won't let it go. Even though they're emotionally immature, they won't let this go. And it's causing a real tower because they keep falling back on old shit. Hidden energies. What's the hidden energy here? What does the universe want you to know, Leo? Red with asshole here. Toxic. Uh, nine of Cups. There's happy, it's, an, it's a no-brainer. This card's a no-brainer. It's the Nine of Cups. It's a nine. It's, it's emotional contentment. It's the end. Tans are the end that lead to a new beginning. This is the end. This is the final. You made it. There's the fucking finish line right there. The universe is like there's tons of happiness here. Tons. There's, this, this connection contains the opposite of this shit. It is healing. And the universe is pleading on some level. It truly is for this connection. Uh, you of all signs, too. This is really funny. You're, you're tied with cancer for the hot spot of this connection cycle. I urge you to watch cancer reading. I urge you to watch at least the cure for cancers. Even if you're not dealing with a cancer, it doesn't matter. Even if you don't know one, it doesn't matter. You're both the hot spot. It's right on the line between you two. You have the two fastest moving connections. And you guys run everything else. They're the connect. The hot spot is what runs and bleeds over into all the rest of the pie, all the other slices. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of emotional. Po There's a lot of possibility here. And this is what's stopping it. Mm. I wish that were stronger. I wish that were a, a hermit or something. Uh, right here, the final outcome, potential final outcome. Red with the tower. What's going to happen with the tower? Are they going to? Is somebody here going to kill the devil? Or is somebody here going to just go back on their old ways and, yeah, I'm just going to whatever because I'm an emotionally immature fuck when? I don't know. We'll find out after these messages. Okay, we're back. Now, final outcome. Six of Pentacles. They will pull it together eventually. Somebody here, it, it's going to keep going around on cycles. I don't know if it's this cycle. I can't say. For some of you, it is. For some of you, it's this cycle. But balance will be... be this is a minor arcana justice. We saw justice up in uh, uh, the uh, pre-shuffle, right? This is minor arcana. There's a chance. The universe is saying there's a chance for balance here. There's a chance for happiness here. These are minor arcana. This is minor arcana healing. The problem with this person, whoever this is, you or your person, is it's major arcana is the, is the issue. This is serious. This, this is old devil energy. It goes way back. All right? It's bleeding over into the connection, but it's primarily attached to the energy of uh, one person within the soulmate connection. The person who uh, surrounded themselves with toxic people, the wrong people, the wrong situation, they're controlled, making them controlling. Making them, you have to adapt to your surroundings. So if the people around you are narcissistic, superficial, and controlling, you have to become that or you don't fit in your own world. This person almost goes through life as an actor, playing a role, not getting to be themselves, who they truly are in their soul, never gets to come out. Why? Because this fucker's in the way. This guy's holding his foot on the door so they can't open, so the soul can't open it. This tower here, something's going to happen within somebody here. But it's still 50-50. It's still a minor arcana here, whether, whether they get it together or not. 
It's very hard to, to get, you know, <clears throat> it's just as easy to break a habit as it is to make one. Mm. You know, it takes three weeks to form a habit, it takes three weeks to break it. Same thing, one to one ratio. Whether or not they're willing to, I don't know, let's see, let's clarify. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Toxic. You get it every time, too. You can't, you can't say, and these are my highest rated readings, the Leos. The Leo readings are my highest rated. They're never less than 99.8%. I mean, it's mind-blowing. On a low side, I got a 99.7 once. And these toxic things come up even in the little reads. The small readings. You know, the card pulls for the weekly pull where I pull one card for you. It's every time. It's the same shit. It's, uh, it's unreal. And it's still here. Somebody's still fucking sitting in it. Even though with all the energies in play, they can feel this connection, but they can't find it in the 3D. They're still sitting in this toxic shit. What are they going to do? Sit in this? For, is this the rest of their life? Is this the rest of their life? God, I hope the fuck not. I hope the fuck not. That's horrible energy. Why is the devil here? He really wants me to shuffle. Holy fuck. Yeah, it, it's a it's a commitment for most of you ten of pentacles. It's a toxic marriage. It's a toxic commitment It's a toxic family dynamic. Look at the picture on the card The cards are just pretty pictures for you. I read the energy. I know this person is married For, for most of you uh, Whoever this is you or them. I don't know. It's toxic. It's shit or you're in a relationship one or the other It doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be a family dynamic. It could be a career. That's bad for him But come on, let's Let's shoot straight here, okay? It's ten pentacles. Look at the picture on the card. It's family or marriage or relationship or something like that. Something long-term is toxic. And it's what's causing the whole problem because it feeds the childhood fears that come in. It feeds their fear. It feeds their old habits. It feeds everything. It's easy to stay in it. But what's waiting on the other side is this. On the other side is this. Emotional content. This is what makes me so sad. It's right here. Just reach out. Say hello. I'm going to spy. I'm just going to spy. But I can't find them. Where are they in the 3D? I can't find them. I can feel them now because the stopgap's gone, but I can't find them. Three of Wands. They get to the point where they want to do this all the time, and then they stop and turn around. It's, it's a karmic loop. This Three of Wands, she gets to the shore all the time. She's here every time I see her. Every time I drive by, she's standing there by the shore. You know, I come by here maybe once every couple of weeks. Come by this little spot. And she's always standing there. Uh, she wants to go in and she just turns around and goes home. It, it's this back and forth. It, it's a toxic loop. It's a karmic loop is what it's all. Yeah, and it's a marriage. Oh, come on, people. It's the Four of Wands. Somebody here is in a toxic fucking marriage. It's a toxic situation that they keep going around and around in. Honeymoon fighting. I'll change honey. Honeymoon fighting. I'll change honey. Honeymoon fighting. I'll change honey. Yeah, all the way around. All around and around and around and around. I see this every fucking time for you with Ten Pentacles crossing. So I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know why these. It's the same fucking thing I get every time. Almost. I don't usually get a tower here. This is encouraging, and this is encouraging, and this makes me sad, because this is what's on the other side of it. If you stop this fucking loop, it's mind-blowing. Every fucking time, it's fine if it was one reading. Oh, I can't listen to Steve, it's just one reading. No, this is 12. I've been getting the same readings since fucking February. It's probably more than 12 readings. Probably I've probably done 36, 40 readings for Leo. It's the same thing every time. Every fucking time. Something long term, they keep going around. They keep she keeps waiting to go in the water. If she just gets in the water, it's this. Nine cups. Your soulmate connection, whoever this is, is healing to them. It's opening their heart chakra. That's why that's why there's always forward movement each time. Each time this loop comes around, honeymoon, fighting, I'm sorry, I'll change honey. Honeymoon, fighting, I'm sorry, I'll change honey. We're at the fighting stage right now. That's why the tower's here. Okay? So, they fight. 
somebody fights here. Let's just say it's like that. Somebody fights, and then somebody always says, I'll change, I'll try to be better. Somebody always says that. Well, I'll tell you something. I've studied psychology extensively. I'm friends with a lot of psychologists, and we all know nobody fucking changes. People adapt. It's what they do. Nobody's going to change. If somebody tells you they're going to change and they actually do, that's great. But if they tell you they're going to change and they don't, and then you they tell you again and they don't, you can pretty much bet the goddamn farm, whether you have one or not, that, they'll, that they won't change again for, for round three. So why the fuck are we going around 12 times here with this person? What does this person have? What is the hold here? They got some special dick chakra or something? Is it like curved just right so it touches just... I doubt it. I don't see a lot of happiness here. I don't. I see it rooted in the devil. But that's why the tower is here. We're at the fight stage. Now somebody's about to say they're going to change. I'll change, baby. Will you? Will you? I bet they won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bet a million fucking dollars on it and I don't have a million fucking dollars that's how confident I am that if we've come around this many times why are they going to change this time tower why is it here tell me about why someone's sitting in a tower right now in this relationship Leo you know I love you guys I do you know that I do I have, Leos have a special place in my heart I attract them like flies in the real world I have a Leo Venus so, yeah, then I, on the astrology side, but I think energetically I just attract them like flies. Some of the best people in my life have always been Leos. And uh, I don't like this. I hope this is not you. I hope this is your person and I'm just yelling at somebody who's not here. But I am sending the energy out to them. I hope the fuck they're listening. I do. The tower. You gotta stop it. You gotta be. If you're not emotionally going through life, feeling life, you miss all the magic. There's no magic here. You know? What if you wanted to hear the whole song, Stairway to Heaven, not just two chords? The first two chords are the easy ones. It's nothing. Anybody can do that. I could teach any one of you the first two chords because there's very little finger movement in the first two chords. Once you get the first chord down, you just move in two fingers, just boom, and there you go. It's easy. And the rest of them get a little tricky. All right, here we go. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Oh my God, crossing it is you. It's this connection. It's the, it's the, this connection is healing. It's what I told you. It's the same energy as this. It's healing. It nurtures the soul. Yes, uh, they're in the fighting stage again. Somebody's coming around and, and saying, I'm going, I'm going to change, baby. I'll do it. Yeah, one more time. They're waking up. The heart, as the heart chakra opens, we believe that less and less. Twelve fucking go rounds here. Yeah, the King of Cups and the Emperor. We got repeats from the pre-shuffle, coming back, back to the future. It's that tells me it's a cycle. If I got cards coming back from the beginning, right? In how they feel. This is amazing. You don't even get that, do you? The pre-shuffle is, is me talking to the universe telling me how your person feels and how they feel after a couple of shuffles. After a cut, a shuffle, a shuffle, a shuffle, and a shuffle. Cards come back from how they feel and land in how they feel. They're afraid to open up. They're stubborn. They're controlled by something. Something is controlling this person. It's either a combination of some things or it's a something. It could be a controlling spouse who guilt trips them. Okay? Go the guilt trip, the narcissist, the Burger King, the Emperor. Great, uh, great at guilt trips. Great at saying they'll change. Oh, they're just brilliant at it. Oh, there's no love here. The King of Cups. This person just focuses on practical things and looks away. It's the same fucking reading we get for you every time. It's basically the same, but there's movement here. There's a tower. A tower is movement. Something happening. Uh, it could just be within themselves, too. If, you're, if by chance you're watching and you're like, my person's not married. Well, I don't... I doubt that. <laughs> I can't... I mean, I've got ten of pentacles and four of wands. This might not be reading for you. I don't know, but... Um, there's a there's a second relationship here or some sort of controlling energy uh, or it's energy within your person 
that they're just very stubborn and they need to control everything. It could be that. Okay? But that's what's going on here. It's the fight. It's the battle between the, the earth and the water. The battle between the head and the feelings. The, the brain and the soul. And it's causing a tower. Because they're starting, the heart chakra's starting to open. And when that happens, that's magic. That's when the magic gets let out. You know, do you want to live? The, whoever this is, I'm going to send out the energy. I'm going to send this out in case it's not you, Leo. Do you want to fucking live like that? Round and round? With some fuckwit continually telling you they're going to be better and then you distract yourselves with practical concerns so you don't have to... Is that how you want to waste your life? That's a waste of life. This is your life. It's not a rehearsal. This is the fucking show, motherfucker. This is it. Oh, my God. Four swords. Why is it here? Tell me about this. Somebody here sees this connection as healing. It's helped them tremendously. Tremendously. Not enough to overcome this for some reason. And I suspect they're very stubborn. And that's why set in their ways. I get a strong message from the energy. This is how I've always done things. So this is what I'm going to do. Four of, uh, four of swords. Why is it here? Universe. Why is the four of swords here? Come on now. Give me something. Oh yeah. Queen of swords. They, they're starting. That's why the, the queen of swords knows the truth. Right? She, she don't take no shit. She got a good deal on those fancy sandals. Right? She don't take no shit. Male or female. That's why the tower is here. Things are changing. I feel that around the tower. The energies that are in play right now are forcing people to look at some truths. Some truths are being looked at here. What, what really, what do they love? You know? It's like, uh, who do you love? That old Bo Diddley song there. Tell me now, who do you love? Right? And what ain't this shit? <laughs> the sun. This connection is the sun to this person. It's the only reason, whoever this is, it's the only reason they keep going, is this connection. And it's opening the heart chakra beyond belief. Look at this girl. She's, that girl, whether your person's male or female, is a picture of their heart chakra open. And that's a mean sun. Look, it looks like she's getting zapped by something from it. This is nothing but happiness here. This is nothing but shit here on the bookend. It's shit. Oh, I'll change, baby. Okay, I forgive you. We'll just keep things as they are. We'll try to make it work. Okay. And they have some shit makeup sex. Bad. Terrible. Don't even want to put the book down. Finish yourself off later kind of shit. And around and around and around. Mm. Just like a car, you got to make work. It's a money pit. This here is nice. This is a beautiful new car. It's gorgeous. And what are they doing? They feel out in the cold on it. All this happiness, five of pentacles. All this happiness. All this joy. Right here. Heart chakra opening. Right? Healing. <clears throat> and they put it out in the cold. Now they don't know if they can get it back. But I think somebody's going to try. I think we're getting close here, kids. To somebody making a move toward their happiness. I think. With the next card out being the Nine of Pentacles. The universe, this is the universe talking to us. It's separate from our reading. It's over here. But it is red with the energy of the connection. It's showing me the B side. This is the A side. Right? <laughs> Motley Crue shout at the devil is the A side. But the B side the B side is by the Beatles. It's called Happiness is a Warm Gun. <laughs> Ah, yeah. All right. Mm. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Mm. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? What's going on? I always get this with Leo readings. It's the same fucking thing. This is the card that was at the bottom of the deck when I picked this deck up to begin to shuffle your pre-shuffle. And it's back. It's two wands. The universe, this is a message from the universe. It's basically saying, look, if you want this, you got to let go of that. 
whoever it is, your person needs to let go of that. Or you. I don't know. I can't tell you apart. I wish the fuck I could. I actually don't. Because I love you guys. I don't want to know this is one of my Leos. I don't want to know this is you. I don't. There's always a reason why we stay and make things work. There's always a reason. It could be the family. It could be whatever. But I believe I operate on a higher vibration. I operate. I see things from a loftier perspective. And I am one of my things that the, the quirk that comes with my ability, whatever, or bil I should say plural, abilities. Which, by the way, I don't like that I have, uh, but I do and I use them. But one of the quirks that comes with it is I'm hyper aware of the passage of time, more so than anyone else. And life is short. Somebody's wasting it here. And they're aging fast, too, by doing it. This is probably a person who, if they're just out of their 20s or just out of their 30s, you would, you would mistake for early 50s. It could be. Because this is the kind of energy that ages you. That's what the devil does. They wear you down. They age you. This is a person who's probably aging at an exponential rate. Uh, I w it w wouldn't surprise me. When we try to control things, when we try to control things, we're trying to control the flow of energy. That's what we're doing. Okay? And when we do that, it uses a lot of our energy. Alright? It does. Just like this YouTube channel uses, it takes me more energy to read energy than it does to just exist. I started this channel with a black beard. That sucker's going white. You know, and I'm only nine, ten, nine months in, something like that, ten months in. So, take my word for it. Whoever this is, is shooting themselves in the foot. At least I'm doing it for a good cause. <laughs> What's the cause here? <laughs> Just stubbornness really is all I'm reading in the energy and someone who never really learned to open up. They never grew up emotionally like an emotional Peter Pan. They just shut down and go cerebral. It's sad. Nine of Cups. There it is right there. That's why she never goes in the water. It's, it's just what I just got done telling you. Emotional Peter Pan. The universe itself doesn't think whoever this is is big enough to do this. They don't. They, the universe is saying they need to grow up. I remember, I'm reminded of an old Toys R Us commercial. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Remember that? It used to be all over our TV. That's what's, that's what's ringing in my head when I see this. The universe itself has little faith in the Leo setup here, the Leo angle. I've never seen the universe do this, but even the universe itself. Minor arcana and a little mini page. Magician. Now, there's a major arcana. The only hope is transformation here. The only hope of, is when this comes around, it's red with the marriage. It's red with whatever it is on this side that's controlling the person, be it within themselves or outside themselves. This is led into gold. It's alchemy. It's a card of alchemy. It's a card of timing. It also tells me the time is here. It tells me that my energy read is right. That we're at the phase right now of fighting. Of the moment just before somebody says, I'll, I'll change baby you know we're at just before the I'll change baby moment that's the timing right now and the universe says it has to change if that can change all of this can happen this nine of cups can happen but the universe itself says somebody needs to grow up emotionally here why would you again I'm reminded of our November song the song I gave you in November, it's so fitting here. This person, it's the Crosby, Stills, and Nash, helplessly hoping, right? You, should, you saw the November overview reading, I hope, all right? Someone who lingers, saying that they're lost, and choking on hello is the final verse. Lingering is spying. They're lingering. They're, your energies are still tied together. They will not let go because this connection is healing to them and it's happiness is the only reason they keep going and they, and they feel so fucking sad there's so much sadness around this card I got what a dichotomy here look at this girl look how happy the, look look how happy she is and look where it's gotten them because they keep going around and around with this shit people don't linger 
for, for any reason. Someone who doesn't like you doesn't linger. If I don't like a girl, I don't spy on the girl. I don't like her. I don't, she's not my thing. I'm, I'm out. Right? I don't talk to them. I don't do anything. Why does someone linger? You know, even Crosby, Stills, and Nash knew. If you're lingering, there's a reason. All right? Someone's lingering here. They need to. They need to figure it out. Otherwise, what's going to happen is the loop's going to come around again. Someone's going to say, "I'll change, baby," or they're going to tell themselves. If if that's not it, if your person isn't married, they will tell themselves, "I'm just going to keep things the way they are. It's fine." And then the cycle will start over, and they'll start to linger again, choking on hello. Why choke on hello? Why? Why? It's these two energies. Is why. The King of Cups and the Emperor. This is why they're choking on hello. They never learned to be vulnerable. They were either taught that being vulnerable is bad, it makes you weak, which is wrong. Whoever told them that lied. And I know there's a generation where a lot of parents taught their kids that. And I don't know how old this person is, but it's a lie. Your parents lied. It's not the case. They were wrong. Being vulnerable is self-empowering. Being like this is wrong. It is is weakness. It's an asshole. It's someone who scares away anything good in favor of what they can control, which is always bullshit. Yeah, he can control this asshole. Or he can be controlled, one or the other. Either, either or. It's either within your person or it's a marriage. If it's a marriage... This is the person controlling your person and your person's got toxic energy around them. If it's within themselves, this is your person's energy and this is how they behave. And this is why they're wishy-washy. It goes both ways. But the cards say it's, it's a marriage or relationship of some kind. It's holding them back. They never had to grow up emotionally. Probably got married too young. That could be the case for some of you. That happens. You get married before your frontal lobe is finished developing. You know, that's a problem. Anything you do before your frontal lobe is finished developing is a problem. That's why you can't rent a car here in the United States till you're over the age of 25. Because your frontal lobe isn't developed yet. You might do something stupid like, let's see if it can go down railroad tracks. You know, okay. I know my friends and I would have, we'd have been renting cars all day long. Let's see, let's see what happens when we put it on the trestle. All right. <laughs> Somebody never grew up. They're a Toys R Us kid, and they still are. Mm. I'll change, baby. Let's go. Six of Pentacles. Final outcome. Why is it here? I am going to extend this one. I got a devil. I got a devil, Burger King, who came back, and two Burger Kings in a pre-shuffle. And this connection is beautiful. And yet, it's not happening. I need to know why. If, if you don't and you don't want the extended, fine. I want it. It's for me. All right. I'll take it. I do some wicked voodoo in there. Leo extendeds do terrible. Nobody ever gets them. It's just like the worst selling extended of all time. I'm, I, and I'm, I'm doing it purely because, and I so proof right there, I'm not doing it for the money. I know none of you are going to go there. But the bottom line is uh, I need to know what's going on here. Uh, I need to know. All right, here we go. Six of Pentacles. Why is it here? Why is it here? That's my theme song. Again. Oh, my God. Two in a row. Two in a row repeating message. This means something. Two of Wands. Again. It was crossing here. It's crossing here. It's up in the air. I feel a Schrodinger's cat in my extended. It's up in the air. Can go either way, kids. You know? I tell you what. Six of Pentacles. I can't do a lion roar. I can only do a mountain lion. But <laughs> I felt, as soon as I pulled this, I felt the lion roar. You know what I'm saying? Like the MGM lion. All right, this first card is read with the King of Cups. Will he, he or she open up? Or will they keep the foot on the land? 
child. They're like this because they're, they never grew up. They're a Toys R Us kid. Peter Pan emotionally. I don't know. This is one of the things I'm going to pull on in the extended. for your per If your person's married to somebody, who the fuck are they married to? Because if they are, it's this fucker. And I got to tell you, he makes them, he's so controlling. He makes them wear the same shirt. This is your person, male or female. This is who they're married to. They have to wear the same shirt. At least they get different pants. That's nice. That's nice. Either way, it's, it, the behavior bleeds over into your person. It makes them stubborn and it makes them controlling. So, in other words, it's like an anorexic, for example. An anorexic generally, does, it generally doesn't eat. Not because they're not hungry. <laughs> they don't eat because it's the one thing they can control. They feel their life is out of control all around them. And the one thing they can control is not putting food in their mouth so they don't eat. Your person's sort of anorexic in this situation. Whether it's family, career, or a marriage, it doesn't matter. If something's controlling them, then they, as a little microcosm, try to control little things around them. And the one thing they can control, the eating part of this analogy, is your connection. They can say no. And they feel powerful for saying no to it. You get what I'm saying? You smell what I'm cooking? They feel powerful for saying no, for leaving themselves out in the cold in your connection. Because it's like it's the one thing they can control because they're being controlled. So they want to control some. It's like children. It's children. It's emotional children. Children do it all the time. They throw little tantrums, right? Their room is their world, right? They want to put stuff where they want to put it. They don't want to clean it. They don't want to. You tell them to clean the room, they get all pissy. Not because they don't, God, not because they, it's because that, that's their domain. You don't tell me to clean my room. Okay, you do, fine. You're a parent, that's fine. Hereford. This connection is changing this person. This connection is making them change, but they're trying everything they can not to look at it. They look away from it. They learn from it at a much slower rate. This is a card of learning. It's a studious card. They learn from this connection at a much slower rate than they should be learning from it. Because they spend a lot of time looking away and believing that this fuckwit, if they're in a marriage, is going to actually change. I'll change this time. I won't cheat on you again. You know, or it could be a scenario. I'm not saying they cheated, but I'm saying if that's a, that's a very common scenario. Everyone who cheats says I won't do it again. They also say it was the first time I ever did it. No shit. That's the first time you ever caught me. No, there were no times before. That's a fucking lie. Yeah, there were. Any judge will tell you that, too. If there are any judges watching, I know I got a couple. You all know that. It's your first, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's your first time. No, it isn't. <laughs> My ass it is. It's not your first time. They all know first offenders is not their first offender, but nobody's going to come in the court and say, well, uh, I know this was my first offense, but uh, I do want to confess that uh, years ago I used to rob banks prior, and, it, you know, nobody's going to fucking do that. It's always that. God, stop believing people. That's, that's my advice to all of you. Whether this pertains to you or not, listen to me. It isn't the words that, ought to come out, that come out of people's mouths. They lie. Lie. They will lie to you. They'll tell you you look good when you don't. They'll tell you everything. Usually it's just because they want something from you or they just don't want to fight. One or the other. Either or. Or they're trying to puff themselves up. Okay? Actions are what's important. And the action here, if this person's married, is, I'll change, baby, isn't worth the paper it's printed on, the, the air that the words are floating on. You know? It never is. This connection's changing this person, but it's 50-50 what's going to happen here. They need, to walk, they need to walk away from either a state of being or, or a relationship to come towards this. And, and this could be very long term. This ends with the Hierophant. But this child here coming to talk to the Pope, they need to grow the fuck up. We need some alchemy for that to happen is what the universe is saying. We need a lead into gold. What Right now we're dealing with, I'm a Toys R Us kid. And I don't want to grow up. Got toys for so much less. Than that. There you go. Fuck, fuck off. This is what's on the other side of the devil. If they could just see it. But they won't believe it because they won't feel it until they change. It's very clear. Give me three cards from the universe. Anything else the universe wants to tell Leo before I go pull an extended for an empty room? <laughs> I don't
don't know why Leo's don't go for the extendeds. I have no idea. This is an amazing story. How can a reading on YouTube get 99.9, 99.8% and like nobody goes over and gets the extended? I'm wicked in this extended. I will pull an hour long extended just for me. I don't fucking care. Knock yourselves out. All right, here we go. I'm going to find, I'm going to go into this marriage. I'm going to be married. If this is a marriage, I'll pull two angles, marriage or not marriage. If this is a marriage, I'm going to go live it. I'm going to be one of the people in it. That's, I'm going to go deep empathy. I'm going to use that, my deep empathy, which is what I can do. I can switch places with people emotionally. It's, it takes a lot of energy to do it, but I'm going to do it just because I want to know. I absolutely want to know. My beard's going to go a little whiter for it, but that's all right. I'll be Papa Smurf by the end of the fucking next year. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go here. Give me three cards, universe. Give me three cards. What is it? <laughs> yes. Repeat. Back to the future again. I told you guys the other day on the 11-11 reading, I think I said this is the DeLorean hitting 88. It is, because I got more cards more cards from the pre-shuffle. The King of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Justice crossing the Knight of Swords. Again, happiness, balanced energy. All they got to do is leave what's controlling them to come toward what's healing them. It's a repeating message from the universe. What's the card on top that would be crossing Justice? I'll put Justice here. What is the card on top? Strength. They just got to get the strength. The heart chakra is opening. It's right there. Look. That's the heart chakra. That's what that represents. It's the heart chakra opening. It is. Slowly but surely. It just got to stop doing nothing and moving like grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. No one. If you're on your 12th go around, no one, this this motherfucker is never going to change. He might put a shirt on to tell you he's going to change, but he's not. And he's not going to learn the rest of the chords, the stairway to heaven, because that's too much work. There's too many chords. He don't want to put in that kind of effort. He lazy. Probably an entitled fuckwit. That's the energy I get off of it. I've seen, how many times have we seen Burger King? We saw it two in the pre-shuffle. Once here, once here, and well, this is technically Burger King too because it's controlling. But I mean, Burger King's been everywhere. It's, it's, we had a double whopper in the pre shuffle for fuck's sake. That's your reading. It's 50 50. I don't know. I'll pull a Schrodinger's cat in the extended. All right. I, I'll tweet what happened because nobody's going to see it. But I'll tweet what happened. Uh, <laughs> I'll tweet the stats. The bottom line is. Whatever this is, if this reading resonates with you, people don't change. Stop wasting time. This is, this is bad energy. It's bad. And the only good energy here is a beautiful, come up twice, come up three times now for, for your connection, is this beautiful energy right here of the connection. Healing, happiness, happiness, healing, all of it. Nurturing soul. And, and stop that. Stop it. This is the one, all around this is this. No, because I can control this. And I'm going to say no, because I can control that. No, I'll tell you the same thing I'd tell an anorexic if they were right in front of me right now. Eat something, motherfucker. Get your fucking shit together. Try, pick something else you can control. <laughs> I, I give them a list of some things they can fucking control. That's your reading. I hope this reading was helpful to you. It's 50-50. You might hear from this person. If I'm reading your person, I don't know who. Roles can be reversed. It's 50-50. They're either going, for some of you, they're going to get it together, and for some of you, they're not. They're, they're just going to come around on a loop again. If they don't, it'll come around again. We're at the fight stage right now. Whatever it is, fight within themselves or fight with a marriage. We're at the fight stage right now. After the fight stage comes, I can change, baby. Or if it's within themselves, I'm just going to keep things the same. And then it'll come around again. It'll have a little honeymoon period, some bad sex, maybe pretend to get along for a little while, and then fighting again. And all over again. And we'll be right back here. But for half of you, give or take, this is going to be led into gold. It's going to change this time. And I say that 
purely because of the two of wands crossing here and the tower, which was a repeating message, by the way, and the tower here and how they feel. All right? Somebody's had enough, right? and I think they're going to book it. We'll see. Uh, if, you want the, if you want the extended, the link's in the description. Take your sweet Leo asses down there. Little lion asses walking around like that. All right, there you go. Uh, link is in the description of this video at the top. And uh, if, you, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Same thing, Leo. Every fucking time. It's toxic, toxic, toxic. If I would love to pull a Leo reading one time, if I could pull a Leo reading and get a son there and a magician and a queen of pentacles and the energy around the connection. My God, that'd be a fucking dream. I would be dreaming that day. I truly would. All right. I'm out of here. Link for the extended is in the, in, the, in the description. Good luck, Leo.